Hi everybody. I am Nadia and today we are going to shed the light on the ethical aspects in the Internet of Things. First, we will briefly discuss what the Internet of Things is. Then we will cover ethical issues in IoT. And finally, we will get the answer how to introduce ethics to machines. Ok, let's get started. The Internet of Things, or IoT, is essentially an ecosystem of physical devices, vehicles, buildings, appliances, and items embedded with electronics, software, sensor, actuators and other things, that have the ability to connect, collect and exchange data over a wired and wireless network, with little or no human-to-human -human or human-to-computer intervention. Allowing integration and data exchange between physical devices and the computer, this new wave of technology focuses on making human life more simplified and comfortable with the right mix of efficiency and productivity. The evolution of the Internet of Things can be compared to the evolution of smartphones. Initially, only some technology enthusiasts owned a smartphone, while nowadays almost every person has one and, apparently, nobody can live without it. Similarly, some years ago, having a thermostat or a light bulb connected to the Internet was not so frequent. Recently, the advantages deriving from remotely reaching our things for remote control or configuration are becoming clear even to common users who started to acknowledge the need to have smart objects. Moreover, the Internet of Things is not just the Internet of Things. It's the Internet of Behavior and it's the Internet of Life. And if we speak about sensors, actuators and all the beautiful technologies that we work with, that's the presentation of behavioral data, of details of people's lives and that's the question that's before us. So what are some of the ethical concerns that people are thinking about? Most of the ethical debates are about property rights, accessibility, private use of information. An ethical behavior requires enforcing the following. Privacy of information, access to information. There are services in IoT that can jeopardize the privacy and help the service users at the same time. Smart TVs which are controlled by your gesture can make your life easier and can analyze your life as well. Integrity of the information. Contextual integrity is important to the person who wants to receive the data and the person who wants to protect their data. We need to know that the information about our live presentation is viewed in line with our intention, not in another context. Author Identification The correct identification of the author of the data collected in typical IoT system will be hard to determine. There is also a concern about using the data without the patient's permission in health applications. Public and Private Borderline IoT omnipresence will make the borderlines between private and public life virtually transparent, in the absence of defined boundaries for users' information. People's Life Attacks Hackers or virus attacks in typical computer systems may cause either data loss or physical loss of the computer system. In the IoT attacks the loss will not stop at this point, it will exceed to the point that will affect directly the people's lives. For example, if an attacker can log into a typical IoT medical application, a small change in a patient's information may result in wrong medication, which will affect the patient's life. For instance, in traffic monitoring and in smart parking systems, when cameras are adopted, our movements around the city will be tracked through the number plate of our cars. The data regarding our movements could be transferred to the systems of different companies automatically without users' consensus. With smart surveillance systems this requirement is even more important, as very sensible information can be acquired, for example, how much time we spend in shops, with whom, our preferences etc. The freedom of citizens could be jeopardized if personal data is easily distributed and shared. Technology has no ethics especially future autonomous systems that can share personal data, whenever an advantage for the system or the users is detected. Effective technical solutions must be applied to encourage the users to enroll themselves inside the IoT network. Such solutions may be advanced encryption techniques, electronic signatures, legislations, to limit the use of the collected data by third parties, and other.
However, we still do not have the answer on the big question. How to introduce ethics to machines? The ethics in the context of machines are going back to a 1942 science fiction. The writer and professor of biochemistry that some of you might know have wrote The Laws of Robotics and this is currently that the kind of thinking and philosophy that might drive how we apply ethics to the Internet of Things. The first law states that a robot may not injure a human being or, through inaction, allow a human being to come to harm. The second law says that a robot must obey the orders given it by human beings except where such orders would conflict with the first law. The third law says that a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second laws. And that's a wrap for today.